Today I will review a new type of office chair, which is an office chair for your child. This is the Rovo buggy chair, and the great thing about it is that it is adjustable. And all parents know how difficult it is to find an adjustable ergonomic chair for their children, so this is why this one is particularly interesting. It has three adjustment possibilities, which are here at the back. Here you can set the height of the backrest, which is basically the height of the lumbar support. And by the way, you see that this is a really beautiful shape for a lumbar support. It allows your butt to stick here into this, say, kind of gap, and your belt will be well supported here. So this is really a nice shape for a backrest. The second adjustment that you can find is here, and this is for the height of the seat pan. Yeah? So this will be determined, both adjustments, by the age of your child, basically. And third adjustment is an adjustment of the seat pan. If you turn the wheel here, the seat pan will go forward or rather backwards. I'm always a bit, say, I have mixed feelings on the fact that you should have a forward tilted seat pan because as you can see in the video that I link in the description, the more forward tilted is the seat pan, the more you will tend to sit with the hollow back. Okay, so now how will you know if this chair is adapted to your child? You see that the seat pan can go really, really low. Eh? So we'll see if this height is a limiting factor. You see that the backrest can go down till the seat pan, even when the seat pan is super low, so this won't be limiting too much. What will be limiting is the depth that we have here. Depending on this depth, the, your child will be able to touch the backrest or not. So this is basically the size that you have between the knee fold and the, and the belt. So what we'll now do is compare these two heights with anthropometric data for children and draw conclusion on the age, minimum age, of the children that can sit comfortably on this chair. What I measure is the height of the front edge of the seat pan, which is here. 30 centimeters, and on the other hand, I measure the distance between the most forward point of the backrest and the most forward point of the seat pan. And here I arrive at 26 centimeters, so 30 in height, 26 in depth. Whenever you use anthropometric data, as we will be doing now, the difficulty is how to find the data. There are books that you can buy with tons of tables, but free data is rather scarce and not that easy to find. The site that I use here for the purpose of this video is a site that is a anthropometric data table for the Belgian population. Belgium, France, Switzerland doesn't change so, so much. It would change possibly if you would look at the Dutch people, which are the tallest population uh, worldwide as far as I'm informed. The two lines we need to look at are number 11, which are popliteal height, and number 13, which are buttock popliteal length. So number 11 is basically the sitting height, the height of your knee fold, and number 13 is the sitting depth, i.e. the length of your thigh, or at least your under thigh. The easiest way forward is to look at the average column for boys and girls, and to find the, the data that, that we're looking for, i.e a sitting height of at least 30 centimeters and a sitting depth of at least 26 centimeters. And we see that as far as the height is concerned, the average child of seven year old in Belgium will be able to sit on our chair because for him or her, the average would be 31 centimeters. However, you see that there's variability in children as well as in adults. The fifth percentile is the size of the 5% of the smallest children. And you see that if you're in the fifth percentile, your setting height is only 28 centimeters. So when we talk about a child of seven years old, we're really talking about an average child. Your child is not average. Regarding the setting depth, if we want the child to sit comfortably, there should be a bit of space between the knee fold and the front edge of the seat pan. Therefore, we're not look looking for a sitting depth of 26, but rather a bit more. And we find that for average children of five years old, the average sitting height should be 28 centimeters. So you see that basically the chair is more limiting in terms of its height than in terms of its 
depth. Now, as I said, your child is not an average child, so now that you have these two dimensions, which are difficult to find on the technical specs I know, well, measure the sitting height of your child and the sitting depth of your child, and you can assess whether this chair is okay for him or her, knowing that technically the chair is definitely way better than most chairs that you can find out there.